Hello, my name is Sean. I'm a software developer based in London and I'm a Career Foundry tutor as well. Today, we'll be reviewing a web dev student's portfolio. Having a polished portfolio and a public profile is super important in tech. This is where your hiring managers, your potential team will be looking at, they'll be looking at your projects, the skills that you've obtained, and even for potential clients in the future. They wanna see the work that you've done and a public profile is one way for you to communicate that. Let's jump right into it. I'm looking, I'm reviewing Tony Nikolai's uh, web portfolio here. And cool, so right off the bat, I can see he's a web developer. Um, and he likes to code. Uh, I will say he's using quite a lot of space in this hero shot just to express he's a web developer. Maybe there's a little more about Tony that you know he can add here. Scrolling down, and there's this section dedicated to skills. So you've got front end, back end, libraries, styling, and version control. Um, it's nice to know to to know what Tony's good at and the skills he's picked up during the course. Um, what I would say is it seems like he's repeating a lot of the information he has in the back end section and in the front end section in this additional info uh, section. What I would say is uh, you need to really utilize your space wisely um, and try and express as much as you can about what you've done with these tools rather than just listing them. But it's a good start. And yeah, now we have a list of projects here. Quite a few actually. Yeah, eight in total. And when you hover over the, when you, okay, so when you hover over the, the projects, you can see uh, which technologies were used to build them. Now, this is cool. Uh, this, is, this is a nice way of letting the hiring manager know that you've used these tools and I can actually view the website and view the code behind it. I would add though, um, it'd be good to know the process in, in what Tony had to do to, to build these things. For example, uh, what is Healthy Potatoes, this project here? Um, you know, what, what was the goal of the project? And you know, why did you use these technologies? Why did you use MongoDB over something like MySQL, for example? Um, and maybe you can do that. So we've got eight projects here. Maybe you could do that for one or two projects where you know maybe you click this section here and it takes you to a separate page where you can view in depth about the project and then maybe have three or four links to other projects. And finally, we have a section about Tony, um, who he is and how to get in touch with him. So what I would say is, I would have really liked to see the contacts or the about section near the top of the portfolio. That way, right off the bat, where we where here we have in the hero shot Tony Nicola. I would love to know who is Tony. Um, why does Tony? Uh, why did Tony choose web development, for example? Um, so yeah, I wouldn't leave that to the to the bottom of the section because maybe the hiring manager has about 60, 70 seconds to flick through each portfolio. And yeah, I would have really liked to see this information up front. Um, also, another thing to note is your portfolio should be, it should be viewable on all devices. I suspect, yes, yeah, I suspect if I was to move this into a mobile view here, yeah, you can see that, you can see that the, the text doesn't fit. So if I was viewing this on a mobile, um, I actually wouldn't be able to get to any of these projects. Uh, which would be a real shame because it seems like there's been he's invested a lot of effort into this. Um, other than that, what I would usually do is I would go into the candidate's GitHub profile, and yeah, it seems like he's active on GitHub. Uh, it's got quite a few contributions. And looking at the repositories, and these are public projects for anyone to go view. I can click into. Let's see this one. This one was updated two days ago. So that's pretty cool. We've got a description here. Um, always have a readme for your projects. Uh, so if someone wants to jump into your project and wants to try and uh, fire that project up locally, they should be able to do that, follow the instructions here. Um, maybe a little bit more description about the project 
this is a Kanban project with React. It's work in progress. Um, but it would be good to know what does that mean? What is a Kanban project? And yeah, that would be, I think it's getting there. It's definitely getting there. Um, to summarize, I would say condense this entire section of skills into maybe a couple of rows and you should be good to go. Uh, explain in more detail what these projects are, um, what, what's their purpose and the sort of the technical challenges you ran into, the technical decisions you made. Um, this would be, uh, I think this is, this is very key. And last but definitely not least, I would move that about section to the top. I really want to know who Tony is. I want to know, like for example, Tony here writes, he has a skill for building relationships and he's worked closely with companies and business owners. Like, what does that mean? Like maybe throw in an example there of when you've, you know, you've successfully built a good relationship or which businesses you've worked with because technical skills is a huge part of the job. But working with people, working with stakeholders is also a massive part as well. And if you can convey that in your portfolio as well, that's great. But yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe. And if you'd like for us to scrutinize your web portfolio, leave a comment below. Thank you. Bye-bye.